Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Recently, I'm getting a lot of text messages about Windows installation doesn't see my hard drive or SSD. So that's mean when you try to reinstall Windows in your laptop or desktop, when you get to the Windows installation page and when you try to select the internal hard drive where to install the Windows, it doesn't show any drive. It shows blank. Now, behind that problem might be two reasons. One, the actual hard drive or SSD, it damage itself or might be loose connection, which is hardware issue, you know. It's very rare because hard drive or SSD doesn't get damaged that quick if that is not too old laptop, okay. So first thing, we're going to start with BIOS. So we're going to get into BIOS. Most of the laptop does shows in the BIOS if there is any hard drive or SSD. If it doesn't show, then definitely some sort of issue with the hardware. So that's mean you need to test your SSD or hard drive by pulling out, checking the physical connection. But if it shows in the BIOS system, then it's fine. You cool. You just need to change a couple of settings. So it does happen a lot with the new machines, which one comes with Windows 11, especially with HP, I found, and Lenovo. This is the most common problem. You know, recent old laptops comes with Windows 10 or 11 in UEFI environment. So UEFI means secure boot is on. So when you leave the secure boot on and UEFI boot mode, it doesn't show the internal. But here is the trick. If you switch off your secure boot and leave the boot mode in UEFI, that would be absolutely fine. For example, as you can see, this is HP NB X360 2-in-1 laptop, 13-inch one. And this one also had same sort of problem. By the way, this machine came with Windows 11 pre-installed. And when you try to reload Windows 10 in UEFI, it didn't work. All right, so this one, we're gonna press F10 while it's turned on to get into BIOS. And then manually, we're gonna get into configuration section. And from there, we leave the boot mode in UEFI and we're gonna switch off the secure boot, okay? Traditionally, when you select the boot mode in UEFI, we must need to leave secure boot enabled. Okay, but this time we're going to do the opposite. And in that way, when I tried, it shows the internal SSD without any issues. Okay, so as you can see, I'm here in configuration section. And then I'm going to get into boot from there. As you can see the secure boot, I'm going to make it disable instead of enable. Okay, and I'm going to save these changes, restart the machine, and that would solve the problem so if you do have similar problem you might need to give it a try that way so while it restart I'm going to choose F9 to get into temporary boot option as you can see it shows here by the way at this point some new machines trackpad doesn't work because of the driver issues but don't worry you can use external mouse for this time and once the windows installed you can update the drivers and that will resolve the trackpad and sound issues. Now this is reloading. At this point, it was successful. It shows the internal SSD without any issues. So give it a try, check yourself. If it does result, please leave it in the comment section. And if you know any other better idea how to solve this problem, also leave it in the comment section that might help somebody else. Okay, so I'm going to keep continue carry on with this video just to see until the end if the boot is successful or not. So you're going to select next, install. The setup is starting and this is the burning point. We're going to check, accept the terms and condition, hit next, custom. And now you can see the internal SSD, it showed up here. Okay, let's carry on. Stay with us until the end. See how it goes. Thank you.
All right, so finally everything is okay. That's the simple trick. I couldn't believe before I done it. Thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.